Hey guys and what's up? In this video I'm gonna show you how to create some realistic blur or depth of field in Photoshop using the blur gallery. Now let me show you some examples I did before. So this is the after and this before. After, before. I think I'm supposed to say before then after but yeah. <laughs> and there's another example after then before after before and this for let's go for last one and this after and before after and by the way that's me Khaled from Algeria saying hi hello goodbye <laughs> see you later so it looks really neat and super wow or awesome or cool whatever you want to call that so before starting the tutorial, I want to say that you should doubt and know how to use the pen tool to create selections or else using the quick selection tool to create selections. I'm not gonna go into how to do it because I already did tutorials on those in the past. You can check out the description for the links and in this video I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna be using the quick selection tool. I'm gonna be using the the pen tool instead to create more advanced selections. So, see you in a few moments. Now once you're done make sure you're on that original photo and then click M go to refine edges and just try to make the edges more clear and nice. You can also use the smart radius. And I think that this looks nice. Okay, once you're done, make sure you're on selection. Then hit OK. Make sure to duplicate this layer or the alt and then drag it up. Then click on Control Shift I to invert the selection. Go to Filters, Blur Gallery, and then Field Blur move this I don't know what it's called but circle circle thin move it around and then go somewhere else and create another one change the blur and you can do this all the day adjust how much you want the effect to be strong and then once you're done click OK wait for it to render and then Control D to deselect and voila you're done congrats and for now see you guys in the next video enjoy have a nice day